Hey everyone! So we are having a wonderful weekend. We are back here in Hollywood. And of course at our favorite location, Sunset Tower. Yeah. So it's going to be a fun, long Memorial Day weekend. Caleb just graduated. Mm -hmm. We're really going to relax and have a family trip. It's going to be fun. Yeah. We're going to be just living it up here in the Hollywood area, the Beverly Hills area. Yeah. And then on Sunday we're going to take Little Man to Universal Studios. It's going to be a lot of yes. fun. It's his first time. And frankly, I haven't gone since I was eight, so yeah. it's been a bit. So it's going to be a lot of fun for the whole family. Right. Well, first things first, let me give you a little tour of this hotel room. So we are in room 508, so let's go on in. And this is the big reveal. I was very excited when we walked in because we've had this room before and it's probably my favorite. But here in the foyer, you can see if you turn to the left, you've got the bathroom. And then to the right is the bedroom. Um, I guess we'll start, let's just start on this side, I guess. So we'll go into the bathroom and we've got our toilet. And one of the things, if you didn't know, one of the things that's really iconic about this hotel is the wallpaper. And I think you can see the reflection off it. It is like a gold foil um, wallpaper. And then you've got all these like whimsical designs. I know that there was an artist that they actually commissioned to make this, but you can find it in their little coffee table book that they sell at the gift shop. But this is such a cute print. And then you've got all this like classic black and white style artwork throughout the whole room. Turning towards the shower, as you can see, it is pretty spacious. Like this is a very, very large um, shower. I'm hoping it's catching on camera, but when you walk in, you got the shower head up there and then across this way, you've got this really kind of like deep uh, shelf like you could use as a bench or as a seat. Here are the toiletries they provide you. Looks like we've got some shampoo, conditioner, and body wash. Now, I feel like this changes regularly. We've been here before where they've offered keels. There was one time we were here where they actually had um, just their own stuff. Like the bottles just said Sunset Tower Hotel. So this is new. I've not seen this one before. Close the door real quick so you can see the vanity. We've got this black marble vanity. And I feel like this is this is a statement piece, I feel. Um, but they've given us a little vanity kit, a shower cap. I'm guessing this is kind of like some kind of like scrubber. And then here we've got some Sunset Tower robes. We got two of those. So this is definitely the kind of hotel where you can just kind of like relax while you're here. So let's walk out into the main living space. Now, one of the things I first noticed, oh, we have a funny story about this. So here we've got like an entryway, a little place for you to like put your keys down and stuff. Um, we had a valet ticket here. One time we were here when Caleb was really little and he lost the valet ticket, you know, somewhere in here. It looks like they've sealed it up, but he lost it behind this baseboard once. That was quite the adventure trying to fish that out. Here we have a nice little couch seating area and we've got the TV up there. Over here we've got a little writing desk, little gallery wall here with some really great pieces. Just, you know, a throwback, a callback to old Hollywood glamour. Over here we've got this server and one thing Caleb noticed right away is that we've got this little basket of goodies. I thought we were going to get charged for this. The little tag lets us know they are complimentary. So we've got some peanut M&Ms there. Kind bar, some potato chips, some cookies. Over here we've got some glassware and our coffee cups. They've got an espresso machine in here. Oh, and then here's the Nespresso pods. So we've got that ready to go for tomorrow morning. And then I think under here we've got a refrigerator. Oh, okay, we've got a little refrigerator with some bottles of water in there. And then in here, oh, what's this? I wonder if this is like the hotel safe or something. Oh, nope, it's just some more. We got some drawers to unpack in here. Oh, oh, you know what? I'll bet they used to have a safe in there, but they must have taken it out. But yeah, so little look at the sitting area. Now, I can say this because we've stayed in this room before. They've done some rearranging in here because the last time we were here, the writing desk was against that window there and the couch was here and also if i remember correctly the tv used to be mounted on this wall here so the idea being obviously you'd sit on the couch to see the tv i kind of liked that setup better i mean it's interesting to see a little bit of a different setup but i think i liked it better when the desk was over there this is that coffee table book I was telling you about. We actually purchased this quite a few years ago. I think it was probably our first day here. We actually keep this in our bedroom at home. 
So from the living room, we can go now into the bedroom. And this is a really nice, spacious room. The bellman already brought our bags, so just ignore those for now. But here is a look at the bed. This is a king size bed, and as you can see, we've got the nice fresh linens there. Looks very inviting. And then we've got just simple nightstands here. Ooh, what's this? The Sunset Tower Story. I don't think I've seen this before. Ooh, that looks fun. But, oh, at the foot of the bed, we've got this little bench, but yeah, our luggage is on it. Uh, we've got a flat screen TV here, and then we have this very large wardrobe. And if we open it up, oh, there's the safe. Okay, then we got the safe, and we've got lots of drawers, lots of space to unpack here. I think in this one, more drawers. And I think he said this is a steamer. Yep, we got a steamer there. And then we've got places to hang things, I'm guessing, the hangers are gonna be in this one, maybe? So we've got some hangers in there. Ooh, we got some slippers down here. Those will go nicely with the robes. And then over the bed, we've got this really decorative medallion going on here. Oh, but then we also have, you can see like the crown molding, there's some tray lighting to kind of just kind of offset the room a little bit. Looks really nice. And then we've got these really nice windows and we got a really great view because so we are facing the back of the hotel. So as you can see, we got a view of the pool and then right there is their little restaurant. There's a patio restaurant right there. And then of course, a fantastic view of Los Angeles itself. Room service just arrived. We, we decided to kick off the weekend. We cracked it right open. The right way. We <laughs> made our decision. So what a nice way to welcome. Check our... this out. We got a little Stay bottle here. of champagne here. And then we got a bowl of... Mixed berries. Okay, mixed berries and some whipped cream. Yeah. Yeah, very nice. I forgot to point this out, but the door to the actual suite is a full length mirror. So you can see yourself, check yourself out before you leave. And I thought this was hilarious. Their do not disturb sign says, I want to be alone, Greta Garbo. All right, so we didn't get to film it because we had two hands on deck uh, filming something <laughs> for Steve's bourbon Instagram account. By the way, we always get, um, Give it a shout out because people always want to know what it is. So this is a traveling bar kit. No, your handle, your oh, Instagram handle. Oh, my handle. <laughs> uh, the Instagram is sip and the little the blah, blah, blah. So my Instagram is it's right here. Right here. <laughs> That's what it is. <laughs> yeah, so everybody always asks what his um, Instagram handle is, and I'm yeah. always really bad about mentioning it, so that's what it is. Yeah. But yeah, we brought uh, the little traveling bar cart so he could film his little reels and everything for his Instagram account. So yeah. Nothing like having a different background. You exactly. To it, so I enjoy it. But we did pour out some Prosecco, yeah. and where's yours mm -hmm. at? Let's cheers. Oh yeah, well cheers. And yeah. little man is going to dive right into the berries and cream. Mm -hmm. How does it look, bud? Do you have to put, do you have to put on here? You can do it any way you want to. Yeah, this, go for you it, man. We're vacation. on vacation. You gotta put it on there. Why don't you try dipping we one of the berries yeah. into the whipped cream first? Oh, it's a floor. There you go. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> there you go. Whoa. Let's see. Yeah, tell us how it is. Oh, the eyes say all. Oh. Good. <laughs> <laughs> and I've got my champagne here, so we will toast. Not with a fork. Okay, a little chili. Ready? There you go. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers to, to Hollywood. <laughs> All right, so we are just relaxing. Now, I always like to, when we come to hotels like this, I always like to be here right at check-in because I always want to like make sure I can take advantage of this room as much as possible. I always thought the check-in was at four. It's actually at three o'clock. So now we got here at around 4.30. The luggage guy helped us with our luggage. It's a fantastic room. As you saw, we ordered some champagne. Steve even got his Instagram post. So we, I feel like we've had plenty of time to hang out here in the room. We are gonna start getting ready in a few minutes because we actually have dining reservations for dinner tonight right downstairs at the Tower Bar, which is one of our favorite spots. So much so that even when we are not staying here, sometimes we'll stay at the Hollywood Roosevelt, we almost always make the Tower Bar our first dinner here in Hollywood because it's just such a great vibe. It's very like moody. It is such a great spot. But yeah, as you can see, we are just living it up. We are relaxing, having such a great time. I was looking through the little pamphlet that I showed you during the room tour. It's called the Sunset Tower. Tower story. Now, 
one of the reasons we love these boutique hotels, especially Sunset, is because there's it's steeped in so much rich Hollywood history. We've mentioned before, Steve and I found this show on Netflix called Hollywood. Now, well, I say it's a show. It was actually like a mini series. Um, it came out, I want to say around 2020. It was fantastic. I don't think it got as much recognition as it should have. It's very like if it was a movie, it'd be rated R. So just so you know, because I know we have a family friendly channel here, but it was fantastic. We actually wound up watching it like four times. One of the times we actually rewatched some of our favorite episodes, the last time we were here in Sunset Tower, because that's what we like to do. But I, I was so surprised. There is a very famous prominent gas station that you know about in Hollywood history that was actually a main focal point of the show. I did not realize it was actually stationed right across the street from this hotel. I thought that was pretty cool. Like, I learn something new every time I come here. All right, all dressed up and feeling pretty snazzy. We're gonna head downstairs. Steve is doing Caleb's hair right now. How's it look? Oh, it looks very nice. And you get the car. And here we are at the Tower Bar. As I mentioned, the restaurant where Steve and I almost always have dinner to kick off our Hollywood weekend. And as you can see, it's a chic retreat. A throwback to the glamour of old Hollywood. And something that's really cool to note, the space where this restaurant is located is the former apartment of the notorious mobster Bugsy Siegel. Yes, because before the Sunset Tower was a hotel, it was a popular apartment building for the Hollywood elite, including Clark Gable, Errol Flynn, Marilyn Monroe, to name just a few. So to honor those famous movie stars of the silver screen, Steve and I started our dinner with what we like to think is the perfect cocktail to toast old Hollywood, the dry martini. And let me tell you, no one mixes a martini like the bartenders at the Tower Bar. It's cold, it's crisp, and garnished with those blue cheese stuffed olives. It's easy to feel just like Cary Grant or Greta Garbo when you're sipping your cocktail in this fabulous space right on Sunset Boulevard. Bread service for us is a must, as many of you know, and in our basket, we received an assortment of lavash, we got some mini pretzel loaves and sourdough country loaf, and this service includes a fancy little ramekin of the tower's fresh churned butter. For appetizers, Steve and I went the salad route and I ordered the iceberg wedge. And as you can see, it's topped with crumbled blue cheese, grape tomatoes, croutons, and chopped bacon. This was quite possibly the best wedge salad I've ever eaten. It was so fresh and flavorful. It was amazing. And Steve ordered the Caesar salad, which he mentioned was good, but a bit heavy on the anchovy flavor. I had a bite and I have to agree. For dinner, and I want to make this brief because we will talk about our food on camera in just a bit, but I had the filet mignon, which was served with mashed potatoes and broccolini. Steve ordered the grilled pork chop, and you guys, just look how beautiful this presentation is. I mean, <laughs> wow. This was served with spinach, fingerling potatoes, and applesauce. And for Caleb, we ordered him the tomato and mozzarella pizza, which he enjoyed along with the croutons from Steve's salad. And finally, after dinner came one of Tower Bar's most Instagrammed menus, the Sunday menu. Using the little golf pencils they provide you, you can select your ice cream flavors and tick off as many toppings or sauces as you'd like. And if an ice cream sundae isn't your thing, they also have other desserts, including the house-made cookies, which are to die for. So since Caleb did great at dinner and ate his pizza, he chose a pistachio sundae, and Steve and I placed an order for the cookies to go so we could munch on them back up in the room over the course of our Hollywood weekend. All right, so we are back in our room. Dinner was fantastic. It was, it, I want to say this was probably the best tower bar experience we've ever had. In the past, I have ordered the steak frites just because I am a big steak frites person, but this time I wanted to try something new and I got the filet mignon. Whoa, that was the way to go. I do think this place makes a pretty good New York strip, but the filet mignon was literally the best steak I've ever had here. It was seasoned to perfection, cooked perfectly. It was such a great steak and the mashed potatoes were perfect. It was so fantastic. I was very happy with our dinner. And how was your dinner? It was really good. You know, to be honest with you, there were so many options on the menu that I was so indecisive that I gave it to our waiter to decide for me. So I went with the pork chop and the pork chop was quite delicious. So nothing to complain about. Caleb took my applesauce, you know, yeah. pork chops and applesauce, like they're, they're perfect marriage, right? So 
in general, it was fantastic. You know, when we go to these kind of restaurants, you're always a little bit hesitant when you bring a kid, but Caleb yeah. does so good in these restaurants. He really did, yeah. yeah. But uh, in general, like, we got up, we left, like, we got compliments saying he's the cutest <laughs> kid, he's so well behaved. <laughs> They're like, yeah, he is, isn't he? Like, it is pretty cool when yeah. someone takes the time out of their day to be like, "Hey, your kid was really well behaved." Yeah, I think when at these kind of restaurants, they, they do tend to be a little bit pretentious. Uh-huh. There's no doubt about that. So, like, we do get some side eyes, but by the time we leave, everybody's just like, "Well done, well right. done." Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I, I at first I th- I didn't know what you meant. W- like when people first sit down and they see Caleb there, yeah. they're like, "Uh oh." Well, any kid. Yeah, any kid. So, yeah. but in general, like, great experience. Caleb did a fantastic job. He had an amazing meal himself. He did a good job eating. He or okay, you guys. I don't understand where this came from. What? He's all about pistachio ice cream. <laughs> I don't get it. I, I feel like for certain, it's like someone at school must have <laughs> mentioned it or something. I don't know. He made me order it online. So this summer, we're going to make our own pistachio ice cream. But he was so excited because they had it downstairs at this restaurant. So he ordered it. And he it. ordered it. So like the, the place is known for like build your own elaborate sundae. Yeah. All he wanted was pistachio ice cream. No <laughs> toppings, no sauces. Like, do you want some Oreos no on that? No whipped cream at all whatsoever. He just wanted pistachio ice cream. So, but he liked it. So, right. You know, honestly, this was probably the first time in my life I've ever tried pistachio ice cream. Like, he likes it. That's fine. I'm, I'm not a fan. So, that's why there's so many different flavors of ice cream. There's, there's one yeah. for everybody, right? So. Anyhow, in general, we had an amazing time as always here. Yeah, it was really spectacular. As if you if you couldn't tell, like we're just like raving, we're glowing right now because this was exactly what we needed. It was like we just wanted a weekend in Hollywood, a weekend at the Sunset Tower, a dinner at the Tower Bar, and we got all of that in one day. It's just been fantastic. In our master suite, they brought Caleb's little pullout bed because we were under the impression that the couch in the other room was going to be a pullout, but it's not. So they did bring us a little bed for Caleb. And as you can see, there's plenty of space. So this is perfect. Not only that, but like the attention to detail, he has like a full like sheet set that matches (laughs) the full like regular bedding. Like typically when you get a roll away, it's just like basic white linen like i do like the attention to detail that he's getting his own fancy little bed over here yeah that's that's pretty cool and apparently we didn't even need to order those cookies downstairs because housekeeping provides them complimentary during a turndown service good morning from hollywood um it's a little it's pretty early i didn't think we were going to be up this early right now it's 6 45 but we've been awake for about 45 minutes now for whatever reason all three of us just like our eyes just sprung open right at 6 a.m but hey, it just means we get to enjoy more of our hotel room, get the weekend started a little earlier, or rather get the day started a little bit earlier and really enjoy it. We're not gonna sleep it away, right? Um, but yeah, we're just kind of having a loungy kind of a morning. They have an espresso machine here in the room, so that's great. And we were also noticed um, on their website that I guess there's some, a place called the Terrace Room where they have complimentary like tea and coffee. So Steve went to go check that out and see what that's all about. But yeah, Caleb and I are just hanging out. So so last night after Caleb went to bed, Steve and I were on the couch out here watching some TV and there was a knock on the door. And, and keep in mind, as you saw earlier in the video, we out of our own pocket bought a bottle of champagne to have sent up to the room to kick off our holiday weekend. While we're sitting there, there's a knock on the door and it was room service and they provided us a complimentary bottle of champagne with uh, glassware and stuff. And it was basically just like a thanks for returning to the hotel. So it was really, really nice. But now it's like, oh man, we're set with champagne for the weekend. In case you weren't aware, um, don't bother putting uh, Disney Channel or Disney Junior on for Caleb. No, uh, try to find the channel that has the vacuum infomercials just playing on a constant loop. So gross. This is disgusting. We decided to get some room service. Now, there the rest. What was interesting is they have a little restaurant downstairs, but the prices are the same regardless if you want it sent to your room or go down there. So we decided to just stay here. And so Steve got a half, a half order of avocado toast. This is actually a really great size considering that's a half order. And then Caleb and I are gonna share the buttermilk pancakes and these things look awesome. I can already smell them, they smell great. 
And then we just ordered uh, a side of two scrambled eggs. Oh, and this is the best part of getting room service. All the little accoutrements they sent give us. So, oh, we got 100% pure maple syrup and it's got the little Sunset Tower Hotel sticker on it. So if we don't use both of them, I think I might take that home. And then we get the little Tabasco, some ketchup and stuff. This is awesome. Oh, I don't know if we told you this, but Steve went downstairs and they have complimentary coffee in the terrace room. So he was able to get us some additional coffees in addition to you know, the Nespresso's we made earlier. Okay, Caleb and I devoured these eggs. They were very, very good, but I, I always make him eat like the eggs first, you know? Cause it's like, let's eat the protein and the healthy part. This is kind of like our dessert part of the breakfast. So, but we are ready for pancakes. So it's time to drizzle some of this syrup on it. Oh man, this looks so good. Let's dig in. All right, Caleb's gonna take the first bite. Go for it, man. <laughs> How are they, good? Does it get, do they get a thumbs up? Thumbs up, two thumbs up, okay. <laughs> Steve was sitting at the desk here yeah. doing some work, so he's got his breakfast over here. It does look pretty hearty for just a half order, too, yeah. so I think you said that already, but, yep. but uh, here we go. Well, so what do you think? It's really good. I told Mike I, I would like you to try this, but I'm yeah. tell you. <laughs> <laughs> the avocado wouldn't agree with me. <laughs> it's very tasty, though. It's so straightforward. I remember, like, this was the first place I've actually ever tried avocado toast, so mm -hmm. way back when, when we first went here. It is just a good, hearty breakfast. Love yeah. It. And me and Caleb are over here devouring these pancakes. They are so delicious. And you guys, check this out. Look how fluffy they are. Oh, fantastic, right, man? Especially when you get the bite with the pancake and the raspberry together. Oh, that's great. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You're going to build a bite for us? Here, I'll film it. We can all see. Oh, man. That's the ultimate bite. Here it is. The perfect bite. All right, so we have all cleaned up. We have. I think we're gonna go like drive around a little bit, see the sights, yeah. and then we're gonna go check out another restaurant. Of course. <laughs> so yeah, we're gonna hang out in Beverly Hills the first part of this morning, but we're then going to drive down by the sea. We're going to Malibu. Yes. Um, we've mentioned this before, one of our favorite restaurants of all time is Mastro's, and they have a Mastro's Steakhouse here in Malibu, and it does brunch. brunch. We love brunching. <laughs> Are you ready to go? Yeah. Yeah? Right We're going to go have fun? Yeah. <laughs> right. He's not as excited because he knows today's going to be like a shopping day for the most part. Shopping and eating because Universal is not until tomorrow. Yeah. So we are So we are going to get going here. I. What was I going to say? Oh, no. All right. I turned the camera on me and I, have, I was going to say something and then I totally lost track of what I was going to say. So, but let's get going. All right, we are making our way out. Also, I'm switching to the iPhone. We're not bringing our whole vlogging camera today uh, just because I'm not sure what it's gonna be like to vlog at Mastro's. So yeah, cell phone footage from here on out. All right, so we are waiting for our car, but just to give you kind of a little pan up of the tower we are staying in, there it is. And then this is like, I guess this is an entrance to the terrace room, which is kind of like one of their lobby bars. And then across the way, so you can see this, you probably can't see the sign, but that is Sunset Boulevard. We're right on Sunset Boulevard and Kings Road, it looks like. So across the way is Saddle Ranch. But like I was saying last night, I guess somewhere across the street here, I'm thinking maybe, uh, I don't know which direction it'd be, but there was that famous gas station that you see in all the old photos. So a lot of history here. Uh, by the way, I just remembered, as soon as we got in the car, remember what I was gonna say when I turned the camera on me? You're probably thinking like, wait a minute, you just had room service breakfast, now you're going to brunch? It's a late brunch. We're not going until like one o'clock in the afternoon. So it's actually more lunch, but it is the brunch menu. So like like we said earlier, we're gonna use this time to kind of explore the city, go check out some stores, in a mile, just turn have some left fun. Onto yeah. Sunset Plaza. Nothing fascinating here, but first stop, Target. Cause you know, you always forget those last minute essentials. All right, it was quite a drive because there was a lot of traffic uh, blocked up um, coming into Malibu, but we made it, Master's Ocean Club. So yeah, at this location, they have brunch every Saturday and Sunday, 11.30 to 2.30. I wish we had this at home. Oh man, check out this view. 
So we are here, we sat down at our table, and look at this. Wow. Okay, so here's the deal with the brunch at Mastro's Ocean Club Malibu, and honestly, it answered a lot of my questions as to how they can offer this every weekend. Back home in Arizona, our Mastro City Hall Steakhouse puts on a brunch once in a blue moon. But when they do, it is over the top. It's a champagne brunch with a full buffet featuring all the classic Mastro's offerings, including prime steaks, pork chops, seafood towers, made to order waffles that they bring directly to your table. I mean, it's everything you could possibly want for breakfast or lunch. It's a huge spread. And I have to admit, that was what I was expecting here in Malibu. So I was quite surprised to find out that not only do they not have a full buffet, but they offer only six items for their brunch and they are all savory selections. So no waffles here. But we did get to start with the Mastro's bread service, which was nice. And for my entree, I went with the New York strip steak and eggs, which was very good. The steak was seasoned nicely, cooked perfectly to my liking. Steve chose the crab cake eggs Benedict, which he enjoyed. And then to share, we also added the Alaskan king crab black truffle gnocchi, which was not my favorite to be perfectly honest. The crab had a really strong flavor that overpowered the entire dish, including the black truffle. And though we were full after our entrees, we were told they were offering for brunch a special take on their signature butter cake, by that of a strawberry shortcake, which we had to try, and to no surprise, it was fantastic. Overall, it was a nice experience, but if we ever decide to visit Masters again when we're in Malibu, I think it will be for dinner. Walking outside just to kind of get a little glimpse of the ocean live and in person. It's so nice out here, a little windy, but it's so beautiful. And you can smell that like salty sea air as it blows up onto you little shot of the beach here and then right here this is where we we're sitting there's a, the front of the restaurant or the back of it you know what I mean so pretty all right so we are just driving through are we in Hollywood still yes like technically Hollywood we're out okay. of Santa Monica and now we're in Hollywood okay but for all you film buffs out there who recognizes what this building is straight ahead <laughs> no, it's, it's not our hotel. Okay, so it has been quite the day and Little Man has been awesome with going to brunch and shopping and stuff. So we are gonna hit up the pool. Uh, we brought our swimsuits. Now this is a pool, I've already told Caleb. By the way, I'm on my cell phone still because I just slathered myself with sunscreen. I didn't wanna touch my big camera. But I told Caleb, just so you know, this isn't like the water slide splash pool. This is more of the relaxing pool. So, but I think he's just excited to get in the water re regardless. You guys have known this before. We said this before. He is a pool kid. He will take pool over like theme parks any day of the week. So we're going to go hit it up. So let's do it now. All right. So Caleb and I are back from the pool. I'm so frustrated. <laughs> I didn't even realize it until just now. Um, I didn't get any footage um, at the pool and I even brought my little, that little blue pouch that I got from Typhoon Lagoon when we went where you can put your phone in it. Totally forgot, Not, I mean granted, not that I would have wanted to do it anyway because it was actually pretty busy when we went down there. And it's funny because the pool here is very different from the pool at um, Hollywood Roosevelt. Hollywood Roosevelt, they have like, there's usually like a live DJ, like it's definitely kind of like that. I hate to say like a younger crew, but it's definitely kind of like that party pool situation going on. And then here it's more of a relaxing kind of like, people just want to read their new book by the on the lounger by the pool and stuff like that. But it was a little bit more rowdy than usual. So I had no problems with Caleb. Caleb was having a great time. He was swimming back and forth. We're trying to burn off some of that energy, right? Uh, but yeah, he had a really great time, but I got no footage of it. I totally forgot. So, but we had a good time, but now we are going to start getting ready again because we're going to go have a nice dinner tonight. Um, yeah, just having a great time. I don't want to point my camera out the window where everybody can see because, you know, creepy. I mean, this is already bad enough, but as you can see, it's just kind of quiet. It's just very vibey. People just want to kind of go out there and just relax and chill. There was actually a little bit of a big party over here. I think maybe it was like a bachelorette party and they were just, the, the girls were just trying to, you know, get some cocktails, get some summer vibes going. It was really, really nice. But Caleb and I stayed primarily in the center of the pool. So, you know, to mitigate the splashing, you know, but honestly, it was totally 
totally fine. Not the not the best pool for little kids, but he had a great time. Like I said, we got to burn off some energy. It was fantastic. All right, we are in the car now. <laughs> Again, another vlog where it's all over the place, only because um, here in LA, everything is so close. Like this restaurant we're going to, it's 1.6 miles away, but it's gonna take us over 10 minutes to get Which there. I just, <laughs> in Arizona, that would take a minute and a half. Right. <laughs> It's just there's so much there's so much traffic here. There's also a lot of pedestrians, so there's a lot of stop and go, a lot of lights kind of stuff. Um, Very long lights. Too. Yeah. So, but we went out to valet to go collect our car, and there was just there was a lot going on. I think, <laughs> I think the valet guys were overwhelmed. Yeah. Um, but yeah, we are in the car, going to dinner. You can't really tell from this footage, but we're going. We were going down a pretty steep hill. And like, you can hear from Caleb in the background, you're going the wrong way. Like, <laughs> yeah. Apparently I was. <laughs> it's, these roads are not, they're, yeah. they are not a grid pattern. Right. Like that's in Arizona, it's a perfect grid where we travel. And here it's just kind of all over the place. We need to stop comparing things to Arizona. We, we should do better than that. <laughs> so we did pass a shop earlier today that was called Beverly Hills Vacuums. <laughs> and Caleb got very excited about it, right bud? Yeah. What do you think I is in there? I to go there. You want to go there? <laughs> yeah, but maybe it had that kind of the vacuum, and like it has a roller, it spins, and it's some spring. It can like like get like tough stains on carpets and couches. Oh wow! Yeah, that's cool. And stairs. You can even hold it up. So hey, when we get to the restaurant, remind me, and I'll look it up on online to see if it's open tomorrow. Okay. Okay. All right. And it has a pet tool. A pet tool? That's yeah. cool. Now, jumping ahead in time for just a moment, we never did make it to that Beverly Hills vacuum store. But while we were at a mall in Century City, we did visit the Dyson store. If you all only knew just how much Caleb loves electronics, vacuums and Roombas especially, this was literally better than a toy store for him. Also, he has no problems whatsoever, even at only six years old, going up to the store clerk on his own and requesting a demo of their robot vacuum. I am not kidding you, he actually did this. But he is such a character, such a charmer, he even managed to talk the girl at the Tesla store to let him check out their new Cybertruck. There you go. Are you playing his song? Yes. Oh my gosh. <laughs> He's got yeah. But anyway, back to dinner. Here it is. It's all hidden behind these shrubs, but I can never pronounce this place right. I think it's called Seccioni's. But we've been here numerous times for brunch. This is the first time we've, actually we've only done brunch here. We've never done dinner, but this is the place where there's a lot of good celebrity sighting here. I've seen YouTube videos where Madonna has been here. So yeah. Oh, nice. We got some outside seating here. We like to sit inside when we can. So let's see if we can score that table. All right, we got a nice little table here in the corner. Yeah, I do appreciate corner tables. Yeah. Yeah, especially for you, I get to see a corner of a wall. <laughs> yeah, Steve has not had the scenic view on this trip, not but we got a nice table here. And then it looks like there's like a private dining room in there. And we have sat in there before as well, but we got a fabulous bar here. As I've mentioned, every time we've come here, it's been for brunch, and they have a fantastic brunch. So we have never been here when it's only been dinner menu items available. I did notice online, and I was a little disappointed, that the burger, they have a truffle burger here that is fantastic, but apparently it's only available at brunch, but I'm sure we can find something fabulous as well. Here is a look at their cocktail menu. As you can see, they have some house tonics. They've got some seasonal cocktails as well. Steve and I decided to go with the same thing. We're going with that peach bourbon smash. We got some Maker's Mark, lemon, ginger, peach, and strawberry bitters in there. But as you can see, they've got some draft beer, zero alcohol cocktails, zero alcohol wine. Lots of good stuff here. Okay, so our waiter did come by and piqued our interest with a few off-menu items. Right. So, yes. of course, we can't tell you to come back here for that, but they sound pretty good, right? So this is generally, I think they classify themselves as an Italian restaurant, but they have like a pretty wide menu. But yeah, they had like a saffron risotto on special tonight, a cache a pepa, I think is how you say it, with a shaved truffle on top. Caviar too. Veal cheek, and it's just like, wow. There's a risotto, yeah, yeah, it sounds really good. 
bread service has arrived and you can see we've got some, I'm guessing this is like either like a ciabatta or a focaccia and they paired it with some olive oil. Now, as I mentioned, Steve and I both went with the same cocktail. This is the peach bourbon smash. And this is with Maker's Mark lemon, ginger, peach, and strawberry bitters. So what do you think of this cocktail? It's probably named as a smash. So the peach is very subtle. The smash part is very much like the bitterness that you get in there, a little tartness that you have, with the lemon and the ginger. Um, in general, it's pretty well balanced. I do think it's a little bit heavy on the citrus notes. But what do you think? I agree. Okay. Yeah. I would appreciate a little bit more peach with it being peach smash. But it's not bad. All right, so Calamari has just arrived, so I normally go for the pizza that scare Mike the most, <laughs> because I know he won't enjoy it, so here we go. Oh, right, yeah. Mike? <laughs> <laughs> if anything actually resembles the creature in real life, he won't go after it, so here we go. By the way, I decided to just ask our server, I was like, how do you pronounce this restaurant? And she said, Chaconis. I've been saying like Cecchionis, Cecchionis, Chaconis. And at this point in our meal, the restaurant started to get pretty busy, so the audio was not good with our iPhone. So I'm jumping in here as a voiceover to let you know that calamari fritti was so good. It was so fresh, very, very tasty. Highly recommend that. And then for dinner, I went big and bold. I got the spicy salami, mushroom, and mozzarella pizza. Oh my goodness, this was so good. A big departure, if you guys haven't noticed, I was eating a lot of steak on this trip. So this was a very nice like reprieve from that. Very, very tasty. And I ordered the veal braised cheeks with a saffron risotto, which was absolutely delicious. It was very tender, it was delicious, the flavor was perfect, and that light risotto on top of it really made it a perfect entree overall. It was off menu, but highly recommended. All right, so Caleb was so enamored with the crumb scraper tool that they do at the restaurants. Kept on asking questions. I keep on like rotating, but he keeps on hiding away from me. That he talked the waitress into, maybe you have an extra one, right? He's such a schmoozer. So, I think you're supposed to do it in your hand. Yeah. Yeah, I think you're supposed to do it in your hand, not like on you. Look at that, good job. Yeah, scoop it right into daddy's lap. <laughs> oh, look at this, bud. Oh, yeah. Okay, so it is the next morning. I don't know what to, oh, 6.45. It's 6.45 right now. I was up at 5.30. So today we are going to Universal Studios. Really excited about that. Um, and we've never been, right? Steve and I have gone like once when we were like kids in the 90s. To make sure we get everything covered, we bought those special passes where, I, I forget, I, I should have looked this up before I started vlogging, but we have like an express pass where we can ride every ride one time. like. I don't know what they call it there, but it's like the lightning lane at Disney. So that will be really cool. The only thing it doesn't um, include is the new Bowser's Fury. Okay, I gotta look this up. Okay, I went and checked my phone and re-familiarized myself with some things. Our passes don't include uh, the brand new uh, Mario Kart ride, Bowser's Challenge, um, but we did buy another pass on top of that, which allows us a one hour early entry into Super Nintendo World. Cause that's like the main thing we wanna do while we're there, right? So I think it's gonna be a lot of fun. We're gonna get going soon. I'm hoping, so our we get access as early as 8 a.m. So I think we're gonna try and be there like around like 7.45. I think that should give us enough time, I don't know. We'll see. But because I want our Universal Studios Day to be a separate video, I'm probably just gonna end it here and we'll continue on with just the general like Hollywood weekend, Sunset Tower Hotel. So 
Keep your eyes peeled for the Universal Studios vlog, which will be coming after this one. <laughs> what? <gasps> Did you get something? Oh! And we are back. We had such a good time, you guys. I have to admit, we're back a little earlier than I was expecting. We were up at 5.30 in the morning and we kind of were just on that like, go, 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 go. We were on a mission, but we got everything we wanted to do. We did, a, we did Super Nintendo World, Bowser's Challenge. We got to go into the Toadstool Cafe for an early lunch. We got to do the Jurassic World ride, which is something I was really excited for. Steve got to do his Harry Potter. We had a great time. But as I mentioned, we are back now here a little earlier than expected, but that just means it's more time for relaxation, more Hollywood weekend. It's great. If you are interested in our Universal Studios vlog, keep your eyes peeled because that will be the next video. We vlogged the whole day, so more coming your way. That's a cute little that? tin. Oh. What are these? <gasps> Looks like little candies. Are these pills? They look like they look like little Tic Tacs almost. Right? Power up candies. That's pretty cool though, right? Here, maybe it says on the back. Let's see. It says Winner's Cup Candy. Pretty cool. There you go. Oh, can I have some? Sure. Okay, I heard the sound. <laughs> he dropped all those candies on the floor. And check this out. Talk about timing. You using your little scraper you got at dinner last night? <laughs> I'm trying not to scrape the ground. Oh, that's because good. the ground is old. Okay. <laughs> Two minutes. <laughs> I was in the other room and I could hear all the little candies just falling I heard to the ground. <laughs> but I came up with the idea to use the scraper. Right? Yeah, that was great. So, there you go. Okay, we figured we use this time to show everybody what Caleb got. So obviously he got this awesome sweater, which is really cool. Yeah, oh. and dad got me this. Yes. Show, show your hood. Oh, show the hood. Show what happens when you put the hood on. Mario kind of hat. That is so awesome. And this is the backpack. You got a new backpack for first grade next year, and it's super cool. And, and then what's I this? Got something. Whoa! So we got a Jurassic Park hard hat. And it's kind of cool because the light swivels. Um, now we do have to put batteries in it, so when we get home, we got to get some batteries in there. But that's pretty cool. I especially like the backpack clip. Yeah, the backpack is pretty much the coolest thing. I love the belt buckle. <laughs> or the seat belt buckle, rather. Um, did you like the Jurassic Park ride? Mm, a little bit. A little bit? You didn't like that it was going to get you wet, though, right? Yeah. Yeah, we could have done without that. <laughs> That's why you shouldn't have a shield. Oh, yeah. But you got some pretty cool stuff. All right, so we are just hanging out in our hotel room right now. We decided to all, we're all sharing this. We got the club sandwich with french fries, just so we got some room service. Um, Steve's gonna whip us up some cocktails. We've got Hollywood playing on in the background because we love that. Caleb is sitting in the other room because he wanted to watch some Disney Channel, which is awesome. We're all just kind of relaxing and enjoying the afternoon, kind of doing everything we all want to do. Caleb's like, like I said, Caleb's like sitting in the other room right now watching Disney Channel eating his little candy, but it was one of those weird things where it was like, we kind of wanted to nosh on something, but it's like a little too late for lunch, too early for dinner, but so we decided to get a club sandwich because it's like yes. iconic here at Sunset Tower, and you can only get it at room service during lunchtime, so um, we decided we'll just get one, and we'll all split it, we'll just have a few bites, just to, like I said, something to nosh on while we just hang out and have a good time. Okay, so we have been relaxing here, watching our show, we got some room service as you saw, but it looks like people have left, so, and they're cleaning, we just saw the guy, he's cleaning this place off, so we surprised Caleb. I think we're gonna go downstairs and have one more swim day because, you know, who doesn't wanna swim in a luxurious pool in Hollywood? I don't know, which one's it gonna be? Are you excited to go swimming? Yeah. This is unexpected, <laughs> but we, we, we were getting a little stir crazy, so we knew this would make you happy, and you know, we want this trip to be yours too. Right, here we are. We staked out some loungers here, and little man is gonna go swimming. You know, I brought some candy to we can eat. Oh, you did? Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, we don't wanna lose them here. Yeah, sunny day, sunny day, sunny days. No clouds in the sky, but I get away. Mommy, don't call me, cause I'm gonna be on break. Sunny day, sunny day, make way. All the stress and doubt.
right, so we had a lot of fun at the pool, but now it is time. We decided to come up back to the room, kind of freshen up. It's our last night in Hollywood, so we decided to clean up and we're gonna go downstairs and we're gonna go have one last fabulous dinner here in Hollywood. And yes, once more, we went downstairs to hit up the Tower Bar. Normally, we would look for something different and venture out into the Hollywood or Beverly Hills area, but we were actually pretty bushed from our day at Universal and then from those couple hours we spent down at the pool, so the idea of staying on site proved very tempting. But we did mix it up a bit in that tonight we started our dinner with a shared plate. We ordered the deviled eggs a la Russe, and these things were Excellent. So much so, in fact, that Caleb ate three of them himself, leaving Steve and I only one egg each. <laughs> but boy, was that one egg delicious. Now, since I got to enjoy just that one egg, I ordered again the iceberg wedge because it was that fantastic. But for dinner, unfortunately, I did have one misstep that came in the form of, are you ready for this? The steak frites. I couldn't believe it, but my dinner was a big dud. Unlike the filet mignon I had the first night, this New York strip, it, it was overcooked, very tough, and as much as it pains me to say this, it was beyond lackluster. Just a huge disappointment. The fries were good, however. And I ordered the rigatoni carbonara. So just like we mentioned beforehand at Tower Bar, a lot of the food here is comfort food. This one definitely hit the spot. It's a great pasta dish. We definitely enjoyed it. We actually had some in the room later on that night. And for Caleb, we ordered him again the tomato and mozzarella pizza. He really enjoyed this the first night. Unfortunately, he didn't really get much of a chance to try it this night, however. All right, it is checkout day. It's our last morning here at the Sunset Tower. So we have this room. I thought this was actually interesting. Checkout here is not until noon, but I think we're going to get going. We're probably going to go grab something to eat and get on the road and it's time to go back home. Steve has to go back to work tomorrow and yeah, it's, it's time to get back to uh, real life. But this has been so much fun. I mean, and we've gotten to do everything I've wanted to do. By the way, also, because it is the Memorial Day holiday, I have always wanted to do this length of a stay. Usually we will come out um, Friday evening and then we leave Sunday morning. So it was really nice to have that extra day. We had all day yesterday to enjoy. It has been such a nice vacation. A great way to kick off summer as well, you know? But I think we're gonna end it here. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give us a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. And from our magic family to yours, enjoy. Yeah, sunny day, sunny day.